All right, we got a hand brewing here. Griffin raised it up to 300, and Garrett with pocket kings in the cutoff. Gonna three bet him to 1,000, and Nick is gonna cold call the swamp line with ace, queen of clubs. And now we're back to Griffin, which would be an easy spot to just complete. But no, he is going to go for the four bets. Raise it up. 3,800. So Griffin wants to let Garrett know you can't just come here and three bet me a ton just because you're on my left. Unfortunate for him though, Garrett has pocket kings. Griffin sitting there with king queen of spades makes it 3,800. And now Garrett has to decide, do I want to just call? Maybe let Nick in the pot as well? Or do I want to put in the five bet and get stacks in? few options here for Garrett. It's call, you're in position. It's five bet to induce, or it's just shove over these two guys, which is not impossible here. This is a 25 50 100 hand with a $200, or rather a $100 big blind ante. And Garrett does just call, so he's going to try to set the trap, play in position. And uh, Nick is going to get out of the way with his ace queen of clubs. Uh, tough spot there for Nick out of position. And we got Griffin and Garrett. And a king high flop. Look at this. And if Nick was in the pot, he would have had a nut flush draw. Griffin with top pair. Garrett with top set. And this is not going to end well for Griffin. Imagine flopping top pair and being dead. Griffin is drawing completely dead. Check. And now Griffin's going to check. Check. And Garrett check, checks check. back. Eight of hearts on the turn. How does Griffin Paul get away from this one? He's got a little over two times the pot in his stack. 2200. Goes super 2, small. 2200. A quarter pot. Knowing Garrett, I expect Garrett to raise here, and it, it, I expect it to be a big raise. So he wants to be able to get stacks in on the river. Might have to be a little later though because so maybe yeah. Garrett makes it seven thousand and then jams river. Oh. No, he just calls, setting the trap. Garrett calls and the river is a deuce. Kings full <laughs> for Garrett and the draws miss. This is not going to end well for Griffin Paul. Griffin checks here to induce. <coughs> Garrett is likely to jam. Griffin bets. Garrett is definitely likely to jam. This is a big spot for Griffin. All in. Call. Wow. And Griffin just went all in. He over jams his king queen. And Garrett just snaps it with kings full. Wow. Yeah, that's the obvious. I love Twitch22 said, did, did that art guy win a big tournament? Yes. Art won two big tournaments in the last two months. He won at the end of August the... Legends of Poker WPT here at the bike for 660,000. <laughs> and then he went to Maryland Live. Yeah, there was this other. A month later and won 380,000. So two WPTs in a row is the first two WPTs he ever played. He didn't want to make a pair. He wants to make a pair. is what he's looking for. That's our guy.
17. <laughs> Garrett, I have an idea when you're done with the ham. Move those chips all the way to the other side. Um, oh, no, because you're lefty, so you need them over there. I was saying... I'm not lefty, it. actually, but I'm oh. just used to... Yeah, because I was thinking that. maybe then it yeah, opens up. Think he was Art's going to call a 3-bet here with Jack-10 against Garrett's Jacks, and oh, my God. <laughs> it's like deja vu <laughs> the for the third box. time tonight. <laughs> Garrett flops top hey, set the other box? in a 3-bet pot, and his opponent has top pair. And this time, Garrett bets... So Garrett limp raised on this one. Second time he's done that tonight. Earlier he did it with Queen Deuce suited. This time he has jacks. So he limped blind versus blind. Garrett raised, or Art raised rather. Garrett three bet. Art called and a cooler situation as Art is drawing dead with top pair. How many times is Garrett gonna flop top set in a three or four bet pot tonight? This is number three. 36. Best run out here for liner. It's gonna make it tougher for Garrett to get max value on the river, but he's still going to be pretty comfortable that he has the best hand here. Garrett probably more likely to have a five here than Art. Raising and calling a three bet. Not a lot of fives in his range. 11,000. 11, almost full pot. He doesn't go all in like he did last time. But 11,000 into 12 and change. And now here's Art. Trying to figure this one out. Can he make another fold? He's made a lot of folds. Some good ones, <coughs> some not so good ones. Um. This one, he's not going to feel great about one way or the other. <clears throat> and he's reaching for chips, and he calls. And he's going to find out the bad news. Another top set for Garrett, and a $35,000 pot goes to Garrett. You could just ante it. Check, 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 check. Okay, check around. Oh, no. You look marvelous. Check. One thousand. That was a total Tourette's part right there. For sure. <laughs> and Garrett has the best of art yet again here. Trips versus trips. Garrett going for his third bomb pot victory of this round. Bets a thousand on the turn. I think he's gonna get called here. 
bet. Four thousand. Four thousand. Art doesn't love it, but he chops with queens below ten. Loses to some full houses, some straights, or one straight, King Jack. Loses to King Queen and Queen. King Queen and Queen Jack. Raise it. Make it 16,000. And Art just turned his hand into a bluff. <laughs> that is right. That is not for value. Like, uh, Art just turned his queen four trip queens into a bluff for $16,000. I mean, Art did correctly assess that he's beat and Garrett has the part of his range that actually is capable of folding. So Garrett doesn't have a full house. He thinks that Garrett can fold with either King Jack or a Queen. And he correctly assessed that. He's never getting a full house to fold. The interesting part of this is there's no preflop ranging. It's a bomb pot. So everyone put in 500 <coughs> pre. So you can't range anybody based on preflop action. And the flop one, check, check. And so Art is squarely putting Garrett on a queen when he checks the flop, bets the turn, and bets 80% pot in the river. But he knows that he can't beat a queen. But he has a blocker. A queen is an important blocker if it's not the best hand. Obviously, if Garrett just was beat, you know, if he just didn't have that strong of a hand, uh, Art also just wins by raising, as he would by calling. But when Garrett has a better queen or a straight, then Art could possibly get Garrett to fold. Calls. And Garrett makes the right call. Garrett with a $37,000 pot taking it down and clipping Art.